Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Linux alias. And aliases are great because they allow you to condense multiple commands inside of just one command. So for example, one of the tools that we use here is Cirrus. And normally with Cirrus we have to do several steps. We have to activate the environment and then run the Python interpreter and pass along the actual Python script. But with an alias, you can automate that. So you can simply just type, for example, Cirrus, and it will do all the steps for you. And you can see that the environment's been activated. So in order to, to do this, to get started, you might have to make sure that you're inside of your home directory. And you do that by typing cd space tilde. And you can confirm that by typing pw, and you'll see that you're in your home. The next thing to do is add it, edit the .bash rc file, and the .bash rc file is like a script file that gets executed when you log in each time into Linux. So, from the command line, you can type atom, oops, atom space .bash rc, and that will go ahead and bring up atom, and you can see it has a lot of different commands inside of it. And you can see in yours, mine's, mine will be different than yours, but mine, um, you'll see in a section for aliases, right? And I have quite a few. But here you can see that I created an alias. So you provide the keyword alias, the name of the command that you would like to execute, equals, and then in the single quotes, you put the command. So in this case, you'll see I put source activate three data engineer three seven semicolon and then execute Python and then pass along the actual script. So um, I'll send that out in an email so you guys can have that. But essentially, you type that in. You know, go ahead and save that out, and then exit Adam. And then, even though that it's in there now, it still won't be able be able to be used. Um, you actually have to rerun this script. And so there's two ways to do that. One is you can log out of Linux completely and you have to do that by clicking the logout button down at the bottom of your screen. Um, or you can just, if you don't want to log out, you can just type source space dot bash rc. And what that will do is reinitialize the script, rerun the script, log you out of any environments you're in. And now that is available to you. So if you type Cirrus and enter. You'll see that it executes, and then you can pass along any of the standard commands that way as well, which is really good. So, and you can see here that it starts actually doing that. So, that's it. It's a really quick video. <clears throat> Again, adding an alias into your .bashrc file makes life easier. Uh, you can do this for almost any Linux command that you have out there. I, I do it often for lots of them. But uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, please let me know. Thanks.